Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking for the final time. So I just wanted to make this a quick video to explain why I have made the decision to leave YouTube and to stop uploading new YouTube videos. So this is a case of what I've already created is going to stay up. I'm happy with that being up. It's just that for me right now in this new phase of life and expecting a baby, I've decided it's not right for me. So I'm going to go into a little bit of the reasoning in this video. So the main reason I have made this choice is, I don't think it's any secret if you've watched this channel um, for a little bit, I've been quite outspoken about my views on um, child safety on the internet and now that we're having a baby I just think it's, it will be easier to keep her safe on Instagram short form content than it will long form content. I think um, just little things like in her room um, I want to be able to have pictures of her everywhere, um, school uniforms eventually will be in our wash and I'm, I'm I have to be honest with myself, I'm not always the best at checking things through. You'll notice if you follow me on Instagram, sometimes I'll post an Instagram story with loads of spelling mistakes and I think that's because I'm not someone that likes to spend loads and loads of time focusing on social media. I like to live in the real world <laughs> um, and yeah, because of that I just kind of pop on, pop off, post what I want to post and that's it. So I think I have to be honest with myself that I don't think... I can dedicate enough time to make sure that all of those things are seen too. As well, we want to have pictures of her around the house and I don't want to share her face online. That is a choice I've made, even with Instagram, I won't be sharing her face. Um, and that's just, yeah, it's a decision I've made based on loads of stories I've seen about childhood safety. And I think it's sad as well, like there's part of me that's really sad about it because there's so many people in the comments that I recognise names and it really does feel like a lovely little community and parts of me feels like I've made friends, like definitely made friends through doing YouTube and I want to be able to share like this gorgeous baby that I'm going to be bringing into the world with everyone. I'm going to want to shout from the rooftops about it. But because obviously these bad people do exist, there's no getting around it. Um, I have to make the decision that I know will keep her the most safe. And I think one day, you never know when she grows up in today's generation, she'll be like, mom, I really wanna be a YouTuber and you could have given me a head start by posting me. <laughs> but I think I'm definitely making the right decision and that is something I will tell her. I'm hoping that in the next generation we're going to see a little bit of a, I don't know, change. I'm hoping that our generation, we've been raised with social media and we have seen the benefits but also the negative effects as well. So hopefully we will raise our children just to be a little bit more mindful about making sure that, you know, you are prioritising real life time as well. So that is, but I've made notes on my phone just so I didn't miss out anything I wanted to say. So yeah, that's the main thing about privacy. Also when she goes to school, I don't want her friends to have seen her home and her space before she's got a chance to bring them back, if that makes sense. I don't want them knowing loads about her before she can express who she is. And I think sometimes um, with parents online, it's hard not to overshare because you're just so proud of them and you want to share but also sometimes I think we don't take into account when they get a little bit older what's going to embarrass them or not even what's going to embarrass them what is something that they'll want to tell their own way their own story sort of thing um I also think it's going to be very hard to hide it when I film especially when she's a little toddler or even a little bit older filming cleaning videos or something I thought would be okay because it's not going to be about her or anything but realistically I'm going to have all her stuff about the house pictures of her and I don't want every time I'm doing a cleaning video to have to go around my house and block any pictures of her and um to have to be like Sophia get out of the room <laughs> that's her name by the way I announced it on Instagram I'm only 20 weeks pregnant but I'm pretty certain her name is Sophia <laughs> um yeah so I don't want to be like get out of the room while I film because that's just horrible and I don't want to be like that um yeah and then also that I think the whole reason I was drawn to create a YouTube video again the second time is because I've always in my heart been the type of person that just wants to be a mum, 
isn't hugely career focused and I'm very happy to say that I'll be a stay at home mum when she comes for a couple of years and that is something I want to do. Add on top of that the pressure of having to post on YouTube and the thing about YouTube is you have to post consistently otherwise you just get nowhere with it really it just kind of your views kind of go down and or stay the same and you just don't really get anywhere in terms of growing and making more money and that was a benefit I really saw when I um, started YouTube I thought when I was a mom I could create a little bit of part-time income which could keep me home longer basically but in order to do that excuse you little boy <laughs> that's Murphy growling yeah in order to um, stay home with her and create a decent e income on YouTube you really have to post at least once a week and that is taking away from everything I wanted to do which is have the main focus as being her mum and I'm so excited to do that and I just don't want any other distractions sort of thing so I hope that makes sense I just don't YouTube is actually very very time consuming we don't realize when we're watching other people's videos but to film a vlog to edit it to upload it to make thumbnails to um write the description titles everything like that it it does just take time um and it's time that I don't want to give up from being a mum to be honest um so yes um I think I've I've kind of said all my main points that is the main reason why so I am going to keep my old videos up a couple of people I've already said on my Instagram that I'm going to be doing this and a couple of people messaged me asking if I'm going to be keeping my old videos up and saying that they are like comfort videos to them so yes of course absolutely I will be keeping them up I'm really proud of the videos I've made I've been very very careful um my second time around on YouTube not to share too much and I'm really proud of myself that I stuck to that um I feel like I have stayed completely true to myself and I didn't get sucked into the influencer vortex of feeling like you've just got to constantly pump out videos that you're not even that proud of just to make a bit of money um and accepting sponsorships that you're not really that interested in things so I'm happy that I have managed to do that um Going forward, I definitely still want to be present in the homemaking um, community because when I found it, I think it was a real light bulb moment for me um, because I've always had these feelings and almost felt embarrassed to share them with friends and family. And since I found the community, I'm so much more confident in my beliefs and my choices and I'm very comfortable to express now with friends and families what my plans are. And you know what, to be fair, I have not had like negative feedback. I think when people um, talk about wanting to stay at home or to be a housewife, um, there's a lot of videos within the homemaker community about responding to negative feedback. I have been so lucky that in my personal life, people seem to really see that it's me, like that is my heart, that's what I wanna do. And because of that, I think I haven't had any negative feedback and I'm hoping it's going to stay that way <laughs> so yes I'm still going to be posting on Instagram I'm hoping to post a little I've made a little um notes as well about ideas on what to post on Instagram so I still want to be doing my outfits makeup and beauty tips any meals I'm still going to do like little cleaning reels I think so like film me cleaning the bathroom and things like that um before and afters of homemaking projects, anything new I buy. So I did, the other day I did a little charity shop haul on my Instagram stories. <laughs> pictures of Murphy I've put on there everyone loves Murphy honestly so yeah I can share Murphy because he's never going to go to school and worry about his privacy um nice moments to remember and also share other people's posts that I enjoy so that's the type of thing I'm going to be posting on Instagram so if you want to follow me over there it's at Hattie Homemaking same as here um but yes, I hope you will respect this choice. Um, thank you so much for all of the support, all the lovely comments and views which have helped me make a little bit of extra money on the side the past couple of years. It has been lovely and I've really enjoyed the support and I've really enjoyed doing something creative. But like I say, now is just time to focus on a new phase of my life. and I have to be authentic to myself and most importantly, I have to protect my family and this is the only way that I feel I really really can so yes thank you so much for the support I feel a bit emotional <laughs> but yes this is my last video and thank you and goodbye <laughs>